Uh, we welcome uh, the CEO of VitaSoy, Larry Eisinger, joining us here on the program. Good to see you, Larry, and happy uh, 70th birthday to Thank Vita you very Soy. Much, Susan. Let's talk about what's happened uh, since that milk scandal, that tainted milk scandal in China. As Paul mentioned, we talked about the share price being increased during that time. We also talked about supply and demand higher as well as people try to avoid the milk on the mainland. Has that demand carried over to this year? Uh, it has continued to grow, uh, although at a, a slightly slower pace. Uh, the interesting thing for Vitasoy is that uh, our business in southern China has uh, grown so strongly that we are in the process of uh, planning a, a second plant uh, outside Guangzhou. Mm -hmm. uh, and during the coming year, we are expecting uh, to our growth to be very steady. Mm -hmm. um, so I, it's, it's been generally positive, I would say, to Vitasoy. Yeah, let me ask you about uh, the consumer space, since you are in the same mm. market as uh, Meng Nu and San Lu, in, in that you provide consumer goods to the public mm. uh, in the age of PAG. What do you think has happened about what has happened since the China tainted milk scandal? We had two milk farmers being executed. Mm. The head of San Lu, which was a milk company, uh, indicated and, and in these uh, tainted milk scandal being mm. put in jail for a long, long time. Mm. Do you think that's justice, fair justice for those oh, that consume look, the products? It's not for me to comment on that. Um, I, we compete with milk uh, in the marketplace uh, and we offer an alternate beverage to, to milk. Um, and I don't think that sort of activity uh, benefits anybody involved in the nutritious, nutritional uh, beverage market. So. Um, we, we hope that it passes relatively quickly. Okay, well, let's talk about your uh, your geographical distribution at this point, because everyone here in Hong Kong knows Vita Soy. Mm. I think 50% of your revenues comes from here in Hong Kong. Mm. Surprise that only 16% actually comes from the mainland, which is equivalent to what you get in North America and also in Australia and New Zealand. Well, actually, China's growing much faster than that. We'll, it'll be closer to 28% of our mm -hmm. total uh, revenues uh, this year. Uh, we expect that to continue to grow. Actually, we see a point in time where Hong Kong and uh, the mainland will be about the same uh, contributors to our, our total revenues. Mm -hmm. well, and what, what about revenues? Let's talk about that. Mm -hmm. Because a uh, full year net income uh, last year rose 3%. Mm -hmm. Some would say that's pretty good in a time of uh, economic mm -hmm. downturn. Mm -hmm. But uh, what about this year? How does how do sales look, especially if you're looking to expand at this point? Well, I don't have an exact number mm -hmm. for you, but I, I can say that our sales are growing as we expect. We're on plan. Uh, uh, and in this, as you said, in this climate, we're, we're very comfortable with our growth plan. We're growing in every market, in the US, in Australia, in Singapore, outside uh, the greater China area, we're, we're growing as well and increasing market share. Mm -hmm. So we're, we're on plan. And what about acquisitions? Is that part of the uh, expansionary yes. track uh, for Vita Soy? Because I think the last time you actually went out to buy something was back in 2008 or March of 2008, Correct. to find that Singapore uh, bean curd producer. Tofu plant. Tofu yes. plants, yes, very healthy. <laughs> well, it is. Uh, actually, in tofu, we have tofu in the U.S. We're market leader in the U.S. in, in tofu, in the, in the mainstream markets. Uh, we have tofu in Hong Kong mm -hmm. and tofu in Singapore. So it's, it's a very interesting... <laughs> I see the theme. Uh, I you see can the see theme. a little bit of a theme. Yeah, but uh, how about more acquisitions down the pipeline? Do you yes. see that happening this year? Probably it depends, really. Yes, we have an intention to acquire uh, regionally and uh, uh, in some of our existing markets. Mm -hmm. But it is opportunity driven, as, as you know. Yeah, well, where, where are you going to get the cash to do that? Because right now, if you look at your balance sheet, I think mm -hmm. you, you have the lowest cash holdings in about four or five years. Mm -hmm. uh, don't you need to raise some money right now if you want to do that? No, no, no we're, we're very comfortable with our cash position and we are able to uh, easily obtain loans if we required either capacity expansion or, or uh, acquisitions. Okay, so qu quickly, Larry, let's go through your products here because uh, this is a 70th anniversary for Vita Soy, as yeah. you see here. Vita Soy is the it's drink. The happy and, birthday, and these right are here. special Tetra packs that you've made in celebration, right? So each of these has a little message at the back. This one says, Stand by me, as you see there, Stand by me. And then what about that one? Happy, happy birthday. Happy birthday. A friendly 70th anniversary for Vita Soy. And now, you know, I was thinking for you, Larry, why doesn't Vita Soy have those really glamorous commercials like Coke and Pepsi? You know, with Cindy Crawford <laughs> in a Ferrari driving down a Midwest town and flicking her hair, looking sultry, drinking the juice. But uh, what do you think? It's not really us. <laughs> <laughs> a little more conservative no, then. We're a bit more conservative than that. Actually, we try to be very close to Hong Kong consumers, as you probably well know. Uh -huh. um, and a relevance to the Hong Kong consumers most important from the 
moment they walk into the, even before the schoolyard, mm -hmm. to the aging uh, consumer. We, we, we try to keep everybody. All right. But here's, a, here's one I hope happy you don't... Happy breakfast. Ha breakup day. Yes, I hope you don't have to ever oh, use No, no, there's no one. such thing as a happy breakup day. <laughs> okay, Larry, thank you for joining us today. Great That's Larry Estringer of Vita Soy, the CEO there.